hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna be creating this nail set it is super easy beginner friendly and i hope you guys enjoy before we get into the actual video let's state the obvious y'all i wanted just to talk about this briefly before we get into the actual video but i have been mia for a while i wasn't in the right headspace my creativity honestly was not there at all and honestly my life did like a whole 360 in a blink of an eye so i really just needed to adjust to it and be in tune with my feelings and honestly y'all i'm doing so much better now my mental and emotional health is thriving so i'm super excited to see what's in store as far as my creativity and filming content for you guys but i didn't want to go ahead and just mention that because i was getting you know dms like girl where you at are you coming back yes i was just i was just going through it i was going through it but now that we are thriving and we are fully aware of our feelings and our creativity is fully here we're gonna go ahead and start all over again there is gonna be a lot of videos on my channel that i'm just going to private because i just want to start fresh start over but i hope you guys understand thank you guys for being so patient and still being here for me honestly you guys i love y'all so much and y'all keep me going with my youtube like honestly y'all truly truly do but i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get right into it i'm going to be using this poly gel that savvy land actually sent over to me in today's video we're going to be doing the lazy girl method which is super beginner friendly i feel like anybody can create a nail set using this method but these are the swatches and these are the full cover nail tips i'm using they are from dynamic nail supply anything that i can find i will link down below for you guys but the structure of these nails are everything i absolutely love these they are my go-to also using some top coat and some dried flowers from dynamic nail supply and some foil flakes from amazon we're gonna get straight into it so going in with top coat i'm going to apply a nice thick layer of this on the inside of the nail and i'm going to not cure this so we're going to leave it wet and then we're going to add whatever glitter sequins flowers that you want to add inside the nail you will do so before curing so i'm going to go ahead and add my flowers and my foil flakes and then we're going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds if you're new to the lazy girl method and don't necessarily know what it means basically we're adding everything on the inside of a full cover nail tip so as you can see here i'm just adding my dried flowers and my foil flakes and then once i have this i'm going to cure it to keep that in place and then we'll go in and add some poly gel that way we can adhere these onto our nail beds so i always get questions like do you pop off the full cover nail tip at the end of it unlike dual forms if you're using dual forms with poly gel yes you would pop that off to shape file buff but since it is a lazy girl method and we're being the most laziest as can be, we're going to keep the full cover nail tip on all the way up until you're ready to take your nail set off. That way it avoids us shaping and trying to build that structure. Literally the most easiest way to do a nail set when using poly gel, especially if you're a beginner and everything just looks so flawless at the end. So I do recommend using this method if you are new to poly gel or just want a very quick, easy nail set. It is so convenient.
after I added my flowers, I did cure them individually for 60 seconds, but I'm going to go ahead and add them all into my nail lamp and cure again for another 60 seconds just to make sure that everything is fully cured and this is what they're looking like. Moving on to the next step, you have two options for this step. You can add a very nice thick top coat to seal this in, or you can add a poly gel of your choosing to cover that up and to encapsulate it. In this case, I'm just going to be using a nice thick top coat and cure for 60 seconds. Now to apply the poly gel on the inside of our nail beds. If you're wondering what's in my dapping dish, I do have slip solution. However, you can just use rubbing alcohol. It works the exact same. I'm going to go ahead and move my poly gel around and making sure everything is flushed flat around the cuticle area and the sidewalls especially you do not want a whole bunch of product buildup sitting there because once we apply these on you will be having that pour out of the sides if it's just a whole bunch of product sitting there i like to concentrate most of my product in the middle of the nail so exactly where the middle of the nail is going to be adhered to my actual nail bed i do concentrate most of the product there so depending on the size of your nail tips and how exactly you want to cover your nails, whether you're covering the whole nail in poly gel or just doing it halfway, that obviously all depends on how much poly gel you would apply on the inside. You can always start off with less and add more because girl, once you add a lot and you try to remove, it becomes a little too messy. So if you're unsure about how much poly gel to add, Go ahead and start off with a little bit and then just build up as you go. So I do recommend just keep everything again as flushed and flat as possible and depending on your nail size because obviously however much product I add in my thumbnail, it won't be that much in my pinky nail. So again, you just have to eyeball it and see what works best for you. Whenever you're doing this method, make sure that you are you know moving your nails away from the uv lamp especially if it's being turned on during this process you do not want your poly gel to cure because we're going to be curing the wet poly gel onto our nail beds so once you have you know this done move them to the side away from any uv lamp because girl you do not want this to cure and you're gonna try to pop these on and they're not gonna stick and you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna think i'm the issue so just move these babies to the side they will not dry at all up until you cure them girl so move them away from your uv lamp okay now to apply these i like to apply these the way i apply my press-ons so i start off at the cuticle area first and i lay the rest of the nail down don't be afraid to apply some pressure you want to make sure these are snug on and not just sitting on your nail beds so apply them at the cuticle area apply the rest of the nail apply some pressure make sure it's straight and then if you have any poly gel pouring out of the side walls or the cuticle area just take your poly gel brush with sub solution or rubbing alcohol, wipe that away, and then cure for 60 seconds. I like to cure them individually, so as I'm putting them on, I put my finger in there just to cure. And then additionally, 60 seconds at the end, I cure all together. You look how flawless this looks when doing this method there's no structure needing to be built or no buffing the only filing that i do is when i'm trying to crisp up my free edge which is what i'm doing here so once i'm done doing this i'm going to go ahead and dust my nails cleanse them with some rubbing alcohol just to remove all that dust and then we're going to go in with a top coat and cure for 60 seconds Adding some cuticle oil because sometimes, y'all, you know, my cuticles be looking a little too dry. So rub that in. And this is the final result. I love these. These are so pretty, so minimal, but like so out there. Like, girl, 
I love these. Do y'all love these? Let me know down below if you love these as much as I love them. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.